this video, we're going to take a look at what happens if the variables subtract out as we use the addition or elimination method. Similar to what we saw with substitution, if the variables subtract out to 0, it means there is either no solution. This would be the case where if we had parallel lines going the same direction and they never intersect, or we have infinite solutions. This would be the case where we've got two lines, but they're right on top of each other. So there's the green line and the purple line there, right on top of each other. It's the same line. So for example, if we see 2x minus 4y equals 16 and 3x minus 6y equals 20, we might try and eliminate the x's. Going for 6, the least common multiple, we'll multiply the first equation by 3 on both sides. The second equation will multiply by negative 2 on both sides. When we do that, we get, for the first equation, 6x minus 3 times 4 is 12y equals 3 times 16 is 48. The second equation, multiplying by negative 2 times 3x gives us negative 6x, Negative 2 times negative 6 is positive 12y, equals 20 times negative 2 is negative 40. And now that we have the opposites in front of the x that we wanted, 6x and negative 6x, we're ready to combine. Of course, you might also notice we've got opposites in front of the y's. That's an interesting coincidence. The everything subtracts out to 0. However, on the other side, 48 minus 40 is 8. There's no variables left, and so what we do is we look at 0 equals 8 and ask ourselves, does that make sense? No, that does not make sense. 0 and 8 are obviously different numbers. That means these equations together do not make sense. They will never have a solution. There is no solution that makes both of these equations true as a system. Let's try another example. In example 2, negative 10x plus 4y equals negative 6, and 25x minus 10y equals 15. This time, let's get opposites in front of the y's. To get opposites in front of y's, the common multiple is going to be 20. So let's multiply the first equation by 2 on both sides. And the second equation, to get negative 20y, we'll multiply, oops, not 2, let's multiply by instead 5. 4 times 5 is 20y. The second equation, we're going to multiply by 2. That'll give us negative 20y. So in the first equation, distributing the 5 through, we have negative 50x plus 20y equals negative 30. And the second equation, when we distribute the 2 through, we get positive 50x minus 20y equals positive 30. And again, we got the opposites in front of y like we wanted. But what also happened is we ended up with opposites in front of the x. This means when we add them together, we'll get 0 on the left. On the right, negative 30 plus 30 is also 0. Again, with the variables subtracting out completely, we need to ask ourselves, does this make sense? Does 0 equal 0? Yes, it does. Because it makes sense, because we get something that's always true, these two equations are also going to always be true. If one is true, the other is automatically true, regardless of our solution. There are an infinite number of solutions that work in both equations. So as you can see, if the variable subtracts out, we either have no solution if we get something that doesn't make sense, or we have infinite solutions if we get something that does make sense.